Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Candles by Victoria haul. This is going to be part one of my haul because I have strategically alphabetized in this basket 76 scent shots from Candles by Victoria. She recently had a spring fling sale, which was 10% off her entire website. I divided it up into two orders. I divided it up into scent shots in one and candles in the other. My candle order has not shipped yet because Candles by Victoria hand makes everything. There's nothing just sitting on a shelf waiting. So it definitely does take some time to get the orders in, which is fine by me. I'd rather have a beautiful handmade product than something that's been sitting on the shelf. So I won't even um, start melting these for at least a month now because I like to just let things sit and cure, really let those oils warm up and bind with the molecules. If you're not sure about what curing is, it's literally just letting the wax sit in its form and develop. Because let me tell you, Candles by Victoria especially because they're hand poured, freshly poured, when they sit, they smell great now. In like a month, they develop so much, get stronger. Her stuff is so strong to begin with, but her stuff is so strong. One scent shot. Now you can cut these in half. I'm gonna do a little bit of like about CBV Candles by Victoria before we start, but this is a scent shot. She is home of the scent shot. So she created it, the original. Lots of companies call theirs scent shots, but Candles by Victoria is the original. It is two ounces of scented wax. It is very soft wax. So I will not be popping every single one out because I'll show you on this one. This one actually popped out pretty clean, but a lot of the times because it is such soft wax, it doesn't pop out as clean and sometimes the containers get a little mangled because there is so much oil. These are so highly scented. It is crazy. Typically... A lot of people cut them in half. I have really big warmers and I like a lot of scent. So I pop one in my dish and it goes for like three days, super strong. I don't consider Candles by Victoria a vendor because she doesn't follow restocks. She doesn't follow the pre-orders, anything like that. You can order anything you want. If you want a Christmas scent, a Christmas candle right now, you can go on her website and order it and she will hand pour it for you her and her family, we have Victoria, Candles by Victoria, Matt, Candleman, he does all of the packing and all of the wicking of the candles, Wade, which is her daughter Chelsea's husband, does the scent shots, and then obviously her daughter Chelsea does all of like the fun decorative candles, which I will have in my second part when it comes in, but I'm so excited. Honestly, I always have a Candles by Victoria wish list, and Whenever there's a 10% off sale or a scent shot sale or anything, that's when I just place the order because I know there are things that I want and I just wait in my cart until there's a sale, check out. So I got 75 scent shots, plus you get a free scent shot in every order, which I will go over, for $135, free shipping. Like, that's a great deal. They ended up being, so they're $2 each normally. They were 10% off, it was 150 and I saved $15, no, no shipping, there's no tax. So it was $135, which is incredible. So I have a lot of scent shots to get through. I did go ahead and print off all of the scent descriptions. I'm just gonna read the scent description. If I've tried it, I'll tell you if I like it. If not, I'll just do a quick sniff because you'll get more in depth on my weekly wicks and wax video when I start melting these, how I feel like they performed in the warmer. So, all right, we have a lot of scent shots here. I just rambled on for five minutes. Let's get into it. When I was making this list and alphabetizing it, I took all the scent shots, laid them, on the, laid them out on the floor and started alphabetizing them. And for some reason, I forgot to get the description for this one. So we're just gonna start with C and get it out first. It is cinnamon raisin bread right here. And Deb here on YouTube, she does not make videos anymore. She is someone who has gotten me hooked on Candles by Victoria. Anytime I need to have a laugh or I need to like 
just watch and be nostalgic about Candles by Victoria. I watched some of her videos. She did incredible hauls. She did weekly wax reviews where she talked about what she warmed, loved her stories. She lives in Wisconsin, in Tomahawk, Wisconsin, and she is just so sweet. And this is one of her favorite scents. And that is something about Candles by Victoria is the nostalgic aspect. I could say not order from her for three or four years, get a scent shot or a candle and a scent I used to have, and instantly be brought back. That is how iconic and nostalgic her fragrances are. Triple scented, everything about them is incredible. And even though I'm not doing vendor wax anymore, Candles by Victoria will always have a place in my heart because to me, she's not a vendor. She is a candle company and I love supporting small business and I, I love her. So anyway, cinnamon raisin bread right here. I have had this before. This smells exactly like cinnamon raisin bread that you put in the toaster and you slathered with butter. Oh, it is so good. So bakery cinnamon. It's not definitely like red hot cinnamon. Oh, it's delicious. It is easily one of my favorites. And like I said, I can't, I can't go on and on and on or else we'll be here for hours. Next is banana brown sugar drizzle. Banana brown sugar with a hint of creme brulee. And I've definitely had this before. A creamy, sweet banana with a little bit of that like caramelized sugar on top. Banana coconut cream pie. I've also had this before. Creamy coconut cream pie with a hint of banana. This is incredible. I have coconut cream pie and banana cream pie on my wish list for next time because I've never... I don't think I've ever had those individually. I always just get banana coconut cream pie and I love it. It just makes the banana cream pie, in my opinion, the coconut note, makes the banana cream pie extra creamy. Like it has this rich, sweet, decadent, oh, just heavenly banana fragrance. And one of these, so strong, like put it in the warmer, knocks me out of the house. Love, love, love it. And if you're curious about the scents that I go over, I have started in my haul videos listing the fragrances, at least in most of my haul videos, I list the fragrances that I've talked about in the video so you can reference them. Be like, did he talk about banana, brown sugar, drizzle in that video? Click it, open the description box. All the scents I've covered are in that description box so you're able to see. Next, we have Banana Foster. I don't think I've ever had this, but Bananas Foster is my favorite dessert. Our Banana Foster fragrance is a wonderful blend of sweet ripened bananas, caramel sauce, butter, brown sugar, banana liqueur, vanilla ice cream, and just a touch of dark rum and cinnamon. Smells just like Bananas Foster. I cannot wait. Like I said, I'm just going to go super quick, just a haul video. Barefoot in Blue Jeans. Okay, so I'm going to jump around a little bit. Barefoot in Blue Jeans is a create a scent. And a create a scent is something that Victoria did years ago. She still, I believe, is doing them where customers will create a scent. You can actually do it in your own in her scoopable wax, which she calls her gelatos. And like some of the bigger candles, you can mix two fragrances together. And Barefoot in Blue Jeans is a create a scent that Deb created of sexy in stilettos and blue sugar cotton candy, which I did get in scent shots in this haul individually, but together, I've had this before, an equal blend of both. I will talk more about those when I get to those, but Barefoot and Blue Jeans is a creative scent of both. Next, we have Best Friends, which you will see I have a creative scent that has this in it later on. A wonderful aromatic blend of boysenberries, elderberries, strawberries, guava, and pomegranate with a touch of soft vanilla. This is one that instantly takes me back. I've had this numerous times. You don't find a lot of berry blends that have a boysenberry and elderberry. And then the guava and pomegranate, it's very warm berry, almost like a berry jam. And then the vanilla, to me, makes it smell like a beautiful berry body cream. So it does lean a little body care-esque, which I don't mind because I love that scent in like, it just smells like it would be an incredible, rich, warm, fruity berry body cream. So really like that one. Next is Beth Dutton. Now, no, I do not watch Yellowstone. It doesn't seem like a show 
I would personally be interested in, but I know Victoria worked really hard and created four scents from the Yellowstone collection. So I ordered all of them to try because I love trying new scents. Beth Dutton took me a minute. She is complex as a person and as a scent. I wanted to make sure I captured all that she is, which isn't easy. She took some work. Imagine that. A very unique scent with the essence of sandalwood, tonka bean, lavender, vanilla, citrus, cedar, vanilla cream, and a splash of bourbon. This sounds so up my alley. I am going to pop this one. No, it's not going to let me. Sometimes they're very hard to pop out because they fill them so high. I'll pop this out when I go to melt it. Wax cures from the bottom up. So I guarantee down here is super, super strong and concentrated. We're up at the top. It's not as much. Either way. Oh, yeah. You get the cedar wood. You get the tonka bean. It's very creamy woodsy. And I can smell a little bit of that bourbon. Ooh, that's nice for what I smell now. So I cannot wait, but oh my God, we're already at 11 minutes and I haven't even gotten the first layer. Next, we have Birds of Paradise. And this one says, the intoxicating smell of strawberries and cream, along with other added goodies that will make you get a sweet tooth if you don't have one already. And yeah, like a sweet, creamy strawberry cream. Next, Blue Sugar Cotton Candy. This is half of the scent in the uh, Barefoot and Blue Jeans. Fresh citrus creates a shimmering lift for this sensual vanilla-based scent. A romantic floral bouquet at the heart of this fragrance intertwines with fresh green tones and rich patchouli. The vanilla signature at the base of the scent is balanced with soft musk, crystal sugar cotton candy, and warmed by exotic woody tones for lingering sensuality. And this smells like the blue sugar perfume or cologne mixed with cotton candy. So I really like that one. I picked up two of one of my favorites, blueberry cheesecake, and you will see this in the haul in a candle form. So good. The creamiest, richest <sighs> blueberry cheesecake. I love blueberry coffee cake. This one is new to me. This one says cinnamon donuts, cafe au lait, blueberry cheesecake, a police officer's dream come true. Coffee and donuts. Oh, that's nice. It's a very, like, you added blueberry creamer or blueberry syrup to a coffee. Really nice. Uh, blushing peaches. This one is another spring summer must have. Strawberry peach and vanilla make this a must try. It's not your typical peach. It isn't. It is body care peach, a little bit like a peach shower gel with those added fruits. Next, Boston Cream Pie. This is another one of my favorite desserts. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate, but if I ever crave it, this much of it is enough. Mmm. It has that chocolate note. Mmm. Like that chocolate custard. Yeah. I'm definitely not in the mood for a Boston Cream Pie scent now, but when I'm craving chocolate, I'll have it. Butter Pecan Waffle. This is one that a lot of people were talking about. This scent will awaken your taste buds and have you drooling for an old fashioned waffle breakfast. With a blend of vanilla, waffle, and nutty butter, lick the air worthy. And this is not pumpkin pecan waffles. This is butter pecan waffle. Cause she does have pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, wow does this smell like a dog. This smells just like a, like a homemade waffle. Does not smell like an ego. This smells like a real delicious yeasty Belgian waffle drenched in butter and syrup with like, like caramelized nuts on top. Wow. That is bakery heaven, bakery heaven. Wow, really like that. Another one of my favorites, I got two of this. This is Cajun cornbread. And this is one of our wonderful customers mixed this scent and we fell in love so much we had to add it to our regular line. Peach preserves and Kim's country cornbread. All we can say is, wow, this is a must try. And it's absolutely true, this is like a big old piece of cornbread smothered in homemade peach preserves. I actually got both of those in this order as well, but I am just gonna run through these because we're at 15 minutes. I'm just gonna read the description and move on. We have caramelized pralines. 
Oh my gosh, I have so many. It's crazy. This is such a rich and yummy decadent fragrance. Rich, delicious caramel and fresh roasted pecans. Praline deliciousness. You won't be sorry. This scent has been a top seller for CBV for years. Um, Brooke on YouTube, she doesn't make YouTube videos anymore, but she was incredible and that was one of her favorite scents. Next we have chocolate strawberries. Fresh strawberries covered in a yummy, rich chocolate. Oh, there's cinnamon raisin bread. I just forgot to space it. See what happens when you like forget to space something? Yeah, so oh, I did have it, oh well. Next is Country Fair Funnel Cake, your favorite summertime treat without the calories. Elvis. Inspired by a customer request for her mother, this combination of peanut butter and bananas is to die for. Love that one. Fizzy Pop. She, like, created this Fizzy Pop that is so strong. A lemon-lime soda fragrance with a carbonation and everything. This one is powerful. It's so good. Next, we have French Crumb Cake. Right out of the oven, scrumptious French Crumb Cake with notes of sweet coffee, cream, and sugar blended with the soft, milky essences of maple and vanilla. Fresh Baked Bread. The fresh aroma of hot baked bread straight from the oven. I thought that would be a great kitchen scent. Again, I'm just running through these because this is going to be a long video. Fresh picked strawberry, wild strawberries, juicy, sweet, and delicious. Fresh squeezed oranges, just like the name suggests, yummy fresh squeezed oranges. Oh yeah, this I need in a big candle. I love orange, citrus scents like that. Fresh squeezed oranges, like one of my favorite notes in a candle. It just like brightens up and freshens the space. Fruit Loops Cupcakes, which is Fruit Loops and Pink Cupcake. Glazed Sticky Apples. I only got this one because Victoria, well, it sounds good, but Victoria was melting this and talking about it on her TikTok, and I was like, I don't think I've ever tried that. Caramelized Pralines and Apple Jack and Orange Peel. So, I had to give that one a shot. Granny's Pie Crust. If you just watched my empties video, I think I talked about it in there, or I might talk about it in the next melting, because I know I just melted it. My favorite pie crust scent ever. I've had so many pie crust scents from, from different vendors and companies, and they do not smell like pie crust. They really actually don't smell like anything. This right here is the best pie crust ever. It is so strong, so buttery, flaky, and delicious. Indonesian Delight, this is actually my free scent shot, so I actually got two of these, which is fine, because I actually really do like the scent. I've had it before. The top notes sparkle with crisp dew fruit, mandarin oranges, tangerines, and sweet berries. The heart combines a medley of pineapple, mimosa blossoms, peaches, plums, fruity jasmine, and soft lavender. The base is a beautiful lily and vanilla. It is a great fruity scent. Jelly donut. I also picked up two of these. A strawberry jelly donut is filled with what you can expect, a yummy fragrance. Next is John Dutton, which is from Yellowstone. Rich, rugged, sexy, all wrapped up in this amazing scent that we feel captures the true spirit of John Dutton. A blend of coconut, cardamom, blushed wine, cognac, cassis, whipped vanilla, ginger, whiskey, molasses, sheer musk, patchouli, and mulled wine. Jumpin' Jelly Bean, a combination of pear, green apple, lemon, and sugar. Perfect for summertime. I got this because I wanted to see if it would smell just like Scentsy's. It's not, it's not a dupe, but oh, I love Scentsy's Jumpin' Jelly Bean. If that ever comes back to bring back my bar, I will be getting it. Love Potion number nine. Oh, this is not the right way, this way. Kim's Country Cornbread. Baked cornbread straight from the oven. This is a good old country cornbread. Leather and Lace, a perfect blend of masculine with a feminine touch. Leisha, Dutch apple crunch and buttery caramel. Love potion number nine. It's a blend of fruity sophistication with a warm vanilla musk note. Truly amazing. Or so we have been told. Now this one I've had before. Mango papaya, love, a tropical delight. You will fall in love with this fruity blend of ripey, ripey, ripened mango and juicy papaya. A favorite, a classic. Mango Sorbet. 
blend of mango, raspberry, and lemon compared to Tutti Dolce, which I believe Tutti Dolce is a Bath and Body Works dupe. I've never had mango sorbet before, so we shall give it a try. Marshmallow Campfire, a favorite. Just as the name suggests, toasted marshmallows over an open fire. Let this one cure for a bit and melt it. It does smell a little perfumey on cold, but when you warm that one, it transforms. Morning in Madrid, a blend of sassy, saucy combination of Valencia orange, sparkling bergamot, tangerine zest, tart cassis, orange juice, neroli, ground pepper, fiery chili pepper, and sheer musk. Mulberry Delight, a favorite English fruit, sweet and juicy, reminiscent of black cherry blended with grape and blackberry notes. Very strong, one of my favorites. And I got this because I wanted to see if it smells like the Party Light Mulberry. It does. I'm going to melt this. If this is as incredible, I'm getting a big candle in that because I loved Party Light Mulberry. Nutty Candied Apple. Just like the candied apples you get at the carnival, nutty and sweet with some apple to boot, this scent will bring back some memories. Oatmeal Milk and Honey. This popular blend of natural ingredients has been popularized in lotion and soap products. Now you can enjoy the smell of it in candles. I've had that before. I have like a piece of hair somewhere on my nose and it's like driving me crazy. Orange cream soda. This scent will tickle your nose in more ways than one. So yummy and very strong scent throw. You will love this one. Oh yeah, you get that fizzy pop with the orange cream soda. Yum. Peach preserves. Get your hot biscuit ready to slather on the butter and homemade peach preserves that Mima used to make. Oh, that smells just that. That's the peach preserves and Kim's Country Cornbread in the Cajun Cornbread, which I just love. Peachy Pink Coral. This white nectarine and pink coral and blushing peaches created by Kayla. Oh, this is so good. White nectarine and pink coral too is one of my favorites, which I do have here. Peanut butter cookies, warm and yummy right out of the oven. This scent will make you drool. Victoria has some of the best peanut butter. Any peanut butter scent you can buy from her, try. They're all incredible. Pink and lime. I'm getting a big candle in this. Pink sugar and lime. I believe that's it. Yep. Something about this combination is magical. It, you clean, you pop this in. It freshens the space with that right balance of perfumey, with that bright citrusy lime. This is so good. This pink and lime. Any of these scents here, Granny's Pie Crust, pink and lime. If you're more into the fresh fruity, pink and lime. If you're more into bakery, Granny's Pie Crust, trust me, you can only get one candle from her. That's what I would suggest. Pink Bubblegum Crush. Look how bright pink this scent shot is. Oh my gosh, I love. Close your eyes and remember the taste of blue bubblegum snow cones. We taste this in our pink bubblegum crush each time we smell this delicious fragrance. Seriously, do not try to drizzle this over your own cup of crushed ice. This is a fun, delicious concoction of sweet, sugary goodness. A sticky, good treat. If you like lush candy fluff, not snow fairy, candy fluff. It's an old scent. Try that. I promise you'll love it. This is another one Victoria was talking about that I just had to try. Raspberry White Mocha Latte, suggested by a customer who loves her White Mocha Raspberry Latte from Starbucks. She tested this and has given us her seal of approval. A combination of raspberry chocolate creme brulee with a hint of Frenchville coffee. This scent is a must have. A coffee, similarly to chocolate, I like for a short time and then I'm done. Like, if I have a coffee candle, there's no way I could burn it for four hours and, like, I, I can't. I turn on a scent shot of coffee in my kitchen an hour. I turn it off. A couple of days later, do it again. I just, I can't do a ton of coffee. So, having a coffee in a scent shot like this small, perfect. Ringmaster. Cotton candy and fresh picked strawberries. You'll see in my part two. Her cotton candy is exceptional. Mixed with fresh picked strawberries. She has this circus dessert candle. I've talked about it on my, on my channel before years ago. Love it. One of my favorites. It looks like there's like circus peanuts. It's beautiful. I ordered another one that's going to come in my part two so I can show you. I want to display it in my dining room. 
love. Rip Wheeler, for all the Yellowstone fans, this scent is for you. Take a deep breath and enjoy the ride with a smoldering scent that captures the essence of what we believe is one sexy man. Breezy, woodsy, a must try for both men and women. Santal, I've talked about this one before. The very popular Santal scent is a bold and intoxicating aroma. It combines notes of cardamom, papyrus, and musk to evoke an elevated sensual essence. With delicate smoke and leather undertones, this scent is remin reminiscent of a luxury perfume. I have this in a reed diffuser in my entryway. It's beautiful. Sexy in stilettos. If you don't know Lanaya Indiana from YouTube. She doesn't make videos anymore, I don't think. You have no idea what you're missing. Sexy and Stilettos is inspired by my good friend and one sweet and genuine lady. Lana is sexy in her stilettos, and we know you will agree with this sexy scent. Created by her favorite scents in mind, a touch of sweetness and oriental musk makes this a must-have scent for the summer. Colored red after the soles of Lana's favorite shoes, Christian Louboutins, this candle is sure to delight. Now... Sexy in Stilettos and Best Friends, Deb said, I'm going to mix those two together and create a set called Soul Sisters. The Soul of a Shoe, Best Friends, Sexy in Stilettos, perfect name. And that's what it says, Best Friends and Sexy in Stilettos. I've had this before. I adore it. Honestly, I like Sexy in Stilettos and I like Barefoot and Boot. Best Friends together. I like them separate. I like them together best, I think. I just think they work so well together. Spring Dippity. This is one that people talk about all the time and I've never tried. Spring berries and fruits are combined with fresh flowers to form this sparkling blend. St. Lucia. Honeydew melon mixed with marshmallow ambrosia and nectarine. Strawberry cream cupcakes. This name says it all. A dessert for the nose. This scent is so fabulous, your family will believe you are baking them strawberry cream cupcakes. I have to smell this. I got this because I want to see if it smells like... It does not. But this is really good. This is really creamy cupcake. Holy crap. You really get that creamy note. What? Like, wow. You truly get the cream and the strawberry cupcake. Oh good, I get to talk about my, my favorite strawberry scent next. This might be a compet contender for best strawberry. My favorite strawberry, strawberry Danish. This is an either love it or hate it scent because the Danish is very salty. That saltiness almost makes this addicting to me. I just wanna keep on smelling it. And I know that sounds weird, but it's so addicting, I wanna keep smelling it. Tiffany D. Tiffany D on YouTube, which she still makes videos, is inspired to create inspired me to create this wonderful fragrance. Colored light blue, like the infamous Tiffany boxes. Definitely not like Tiffany blue, but um a beautiful mix of watermelon, honeydew melon, cotton candy with a splash of vanilla. Tokyo Spring. A blend of fresh air notes with a hint of Japanese grapefruit, middle notes of spring melons, rose, lotus blossoms, and lily of the valley, all sitting on a base of bamboo and white musk. Tonka truck. This deep, rich, woodsy scent has notes of Italian bergamot, applewood, and tonka bean to round out the darker, more sensuous patchouli, cedarwood, and oak moss. Bottom notes of cardamom, vanilla, bourbon, and allspice. Very rich and complex and one of our most underrated fragrances. I just love this one. Oh, I get like cedar wood. Like it smells like very like cedar chest. Under the big top, cotton candy, strawberry with a hint of pralines. She created this scent because the top part of the circus candle has the caramelized pralines. The little peanuts are caramelized pralines. So whenever you burn it together, this is what it smells like. And now you don't have to buy that fancy decorative candle if you don't want to. Vanilla hazelnut coffee. Just what the name says, smooth and creamy. Oh, see, that's just the right amount of coffee for me. Drenched in hazelnut. Waffle cone. Indulge in creamy vanilla white sugar whipped butter with the slightest hint of sweet cinnamon. This decadent and rich scent will tantalize your taste buds. 
I do like the waffle cone. It smells just like fresh waffle cones are baking in the oven. White ginger, also known as awapui, like the Paul Mitchell shampoo, the Hawaiian white ginger plant, which grows wild over the islands, has long been known for its enticing, sweet, and spicy fragrance. This oil captures the mystique and allure of this infamous flower. Smells just like the shampoo. I love this. This is a great bathroom scent. Two, white nectarine and pink coral. This is another one I'm obsessed with. I love it. A little bit sweet, a little bit fruity. The luscious fruitiness of sweet peach, pineapple chunks, and orange slices blend with enchanting floral notes of honeysuckle, rose, and jasmine on a dry down of soft, soothing musk. It's fabulous. Wildberry scone. The aroma of fresh baked English scones with hints of strawberry, coconut, raspberry, and blackberry. A must-have scent. Truly amazing. Love that. And then Yellowstone. A must-try scent for the Yellowstone fan. Top notes of mountain air, sheer eucalyptus, and fresh basil. Mid notes of tobacco leaf, ivy, and white lavender on a woody bed of aged sequoia, redwood, and soft cashmere. Take me away, Montana. Very fresh. So I know I went so fast. I didn't really like dive deep into the scents. There's 75, 76 because the free one scent shots. 31 minutes. I kept you long enough. If you stay here to watch, thank you so much. I will leave the link to Candles by Victoria down, downtown down below, as well as a list of all the scents I covered in this video. Let me know what your favorites are from Candles by Victoria. I'm always plotting my next order. Make it a better world. Be kind. And I love you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Bye, guys.